Educational tech companies globally have enjoyed investment of nearly 48 billion US dollars since the pandemic struck in 2020. Now that's more than the sector ever received over the previous decade. Hailed as the next fintech by market analysts, it is one of the fastest growing tech segments in the world. And Singapore edutech firms are flocking to the US to grow their business. Chloe Chu reports. Gaming or learning? Autodot says it's both. The edutech firm creates games on online platform Roblox based on Singapore's science syllabus. It's been actively pitching to Silicon Valley investors to bring a twist of the local education system to America. We actually look at all the curriculum in different countries. Well, we realised that um, Singapore's science syllabus actually overlaps like 60-70% with other countries. And what we look at is also like how this curriculum actually can support like middle school or like high school in other countries and it does it very well so another thing what we think is that like Singapore's brand right in terms of education is very strong. Autodot is confident it can grow this in the states as perceptions of gaming change globally. So what we see is that um, slowly the conversation will actually move from like should we let their, our kids play games to what kind of games do we let our kids play to like okay this game is great can it help them learn in school as well so um, I think the line between like entertainment and education right, will slowly blur. The educational technology company plans to develop more games that could be rolled out to schools in the United States. Drawing from its experience in Singapore and studying the syllabus it also wants to dabble in adult learning centers here in order to promote lifelong learning. Similarly, Metaverse design agency Smobler Studios wants to make sure no one is left behind as the tech scene continues to evolve. The firm conducts classes for young women who feel they don't have the same professional opportunities as men. We're going to these institutions to teach girls how to create digital assets. Now this is crucial because these digital assets um, can then be monetized, sold in, in, in the marketplace, right? So we're using this as a foundational pillar or building block for young women and girls to understand digital asset creation, uh, digital um, ownership, and eventually guide them towards a path of financial literacy and entrepreneurship. These businesses are working with Enterprise Singapore to find even more partners in the United States, something that the agency says is an ongoing effort. Many times Singapore, uh, we do punch above our weight. Uh, we, we gain respect uh, from uh, our peers. But at the same time, uh, in faraway countries and in big countries, uh, not many people do know about Singapore. Sometimes it's very difficult to get them to uh, say, uh, speak to us when we do call them. So we need to build that up uh, by being able to be persistent on our end, uh, but more importantly to be able to uh, participate in more uh, networking, uh, more seminars and conferences. Through this, investors will have a clearer idea of what Singapore firms have to offer. Chloe Chu, CNA, San Francisco.